Okay, so you can see I've got a lead screw going here. It's not mounted on that end yet. It's in the flange bearing, but there's nothing like gripping it, holding it there, but it's a fairly smooth enough fit that it's holding pretty well. On this side, we've got the uh, motor mount, and right now, I've got just my drill hook to it, because I'm curious and I want to see it move. So, here we are with some movement. Let me fix this just a little bit here, make everything nice. And now, we can watch it move. This isn't very fast right here. This is pretty slow, pretty slow RPMs. But you can see that half inch lead on the screw and the nut moves it pretty quick. Here's, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to do the math to figure out what the speeds will be, but I don't expect to go much faster than that. That's moving along pretty quickly. If it takes 10 seconds to go this distance, it's going 25, 30 inches. In fact, let's measure that. Maybe we can do some math. Okay, check the video to see how far. That went 28. That went 28 inches. So I'll come back and do a quick check. And when I'm editing the video, I'll find out exactly what my feed rate was just then. But it gets faster if I want it to. That's the top speed of my drill right there, my cordless drill. That's moving along pretty dang good, I think. And then I can put it on the higher torque value. And now it's getting more torque to go, but this is pretty fast. I don't know how much torque this drill has in either speed, but this is kind of my test to see how big a stepper motors I'm going to really need. Um, and also, it's really freaking cool to see this thing moving, so that's why I'm taking the video. And I gotta spin it. Pretty cool. Anyway, there you go. Video for the day.